Hey Pisces, welcome to Lovers on the Tarot. I am Miss Kelly. And I am coming to you with a general reading for today. Let's see what message spirit has for you for today. Okay. Coming out here like Oprah Winfrey, taking leadership in a situation. Okay. I feel like you are being your authentic self. You're embracing who you are in this time, Pisces. You are, um, I feel like you may feel like you, you are a little different. And that's what makes you uniquely you. You know, you don't go with the crowd. You don't do what everybody else do. You do your own thing. Let's see. Detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. Didn't I? Hey, baby. Didn't I just tell you? And authentically, you action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So you are being your authentic self. You're not caring whether people don't like it. Or if it offends them. It's about you. And what you have going on. What you want. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I think I'm going to use this one first, and then I'm going to clarify with the other one, because this one is a bit heavy. Okay. Pisces, you got a lot going on. Some conflict going on right now. It's the same five of swords. Look at this. Look at this. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. Okay. We have judgment. So, reconciliation. or well, final decision is being made. You're making... Other message we have for Pisces, please. That's why I'm going to use this one first. Cause, okay. We're only taking one flip. Okay. Uh, we have the Seven of Pentacles. So if you may be waiting on a reconciliation. That's too many. Here's one card, please. Thank you. Hmm. Some truth, you want some truth about someone who's giving a receiver with someone else, possibly. Ooh, here you go, Pisces, and look how you flew out there, high priestess. Good Lord, baby. According to Wikipedia, Pisces oh. is the 12th astrological. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> Wait a minute, your energy is far deep this morning, uh, Pisces. You are so not playing. But I do see that, like, you felt like you were being breadcrumbed in the situation. And I feel like your intuition told you it's time for you to make a final decision if this is something that you wanted to continue to invest in. Um, I feel like, you know, you felt like things were going backwards. You know what I mean? You thought things were growing. You thought you guys had planted the seeds. But it just seemed like it went back to the six of pentacles where you were being breadcrumbed and, you know, things weren't balanced in the situation. And I feel like your intuition told you it's time to hell hightail it up out of here. And this could be with someone that you uh, know. This could as well be with a sibling um, with this six of cups energy that's here as the uh, overall energy here. I mean, it's at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Ooh, seven of swords. Could have been trying to sneak off and get some punani from my uh from my from my air sign right now. Who <laughs> oh, wants to make this offer to this air sign that seems kind of blocked off? But there is a reconciliation that you want. Look at this. We have the Queen of Cups here. Someone who is uh, very loving, has a lot of love and love to give, but they don't wear their emotions on their sleeves. This person may, they may come off a little smug. They may have turned their back on you. Um, but I feel like uh, this person is kind of loving on themselves right now. Um, when I see this and I see the nine of cups, this person has a lot of you, a lot of love and emotion to give. But I feel like, you know, they made a decision to like kind of like keep it to themselves. Yeah. So let's see. Tell me about this seven of pentacles. About the seven of pentacles, please. 
Ace of Swords. There you go. That truth. So, you know the truth. You're clear that you want to make an investment here. You want to plant seeds here with this person. Wow, look at that. And you want to reconcile with this person. We have the judgment in his wife. So, you want to reconcile. And I feel like you're hoping that. And look, I'm talking about the Queen of Cups. And I forgot. Pisces, you are water. Lord have mercy. That's you. <laughs> Wait a minute. Okay. But either way, you want to reconcile. The truth has come out. You want to reconcile with this person. The will of fortune is here. Okay. Let's see about this six of. Yeah. All right. So there was a lot of conflict about somebody being breadcrumbed here in this situation. Um, you know, y'all, somebody wanting to win at all costs. Wanting to win at all costs. Could be a cancer you're dealing with. We have the chariot here. Um, you know with that five of swords though, nobody wins in the situation. Yeah, you feel like you got that one up, but at the same time, you still left empty-handed. That's not a win. You know what I'm saying? So then we have the five here, regret. So I feel like um, Pisces, you could be dealing with another water sign. Um, as well, it's a lot of water here, which means there's a lot of love, a lot of emotions. I see water, I see a pentacle, and I see one sword. So, there's a lot of love here. Um, and let's see, what was their intuition? Yeah. So, your intuition may have been telling you, Pisces, that this person has been through a lot. Whatever this water sign is, this person has been through a lot. Um... Let's see. Nine of Wands. What's the Nine of Wands here? Thank you. And this person, so this person chooses to just focus on the happiness of their family. Well, this could be you. You're choosing to focus on work and the happiness of your family. I feel like you, you feel like you went through a lot with this person. Um. Tell about this Ace. No, let's see. Tell about this Queen Ace. Yeah, didn't I say you could be dealing with a cancer and another water sign? We have the chariot that came out. This uh, queen of cups, this is you. You're moving forward. You're moving forward. Um, you may be drinking a bit for some of you. Um, it may not be for everybody, but somebody, somebody out here, they're drinking kind of smug right now. But there's nine of cups. Nine of cups, please. Mm. But you're no longer in your head. You're not losing sleep over this situation. I feel like you're going towards um, wanting to take control of the situation and make this offer. Mm. Um, could be dealing with an Aries. Let's see this Ace of... Okay. Messages. We have the Two of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups again. And we have the Ten of Swords. So somebody, yeah, somebody just being super smug. Um, and I feel like whoever this was, they weren't making a decision because their thinking wasn't clear. Their mind wasn't clear at the time when this offer was coming in. It may have been something that was said in a message. Like someone may have rejected someone. This ooh, Queen of Souls back here. Someone could have, you could have rejected this Queen of Swords uh, offer, and this person felt betrayed standing in the back. Tell me about this Five of Swords. Death card. So the pettiness has stopped, thank gosh. Okay, and victory. But there is still some obsessive behavior going on here. Okay, tell me about this regret. So someone regrets making this offer or not putting that love into themselves. Um, but it, I feel like somebody did bite their tongue. Somebody bit their tongue in this situation. Someone could have, someone, you could be regretting keeping your mouth shut about how you feel about this person. 
I feel like you could have just been, you know, acting out of pride and ego versus you, you know, stating how you really feel about this person. So tell me about this nine of wands and the eight of pentacles, please. Mm-hmm. So you want, I mean, this person is working and healing themselves, trying to find, gain balance for themselves. Um, this person could be weighed down by burdens. This could be you. You could be weighed down by a lot of burdens, but I feel like you are, you still, whoever, you or this person is still pushing forward. Yeah. Again, focus on their family. Or your family could be a burden. And you're trying to find a way to heal and um, take care of yourself. Like I say, I feel like this could be this could be this could be this cool with a family member as well. Okay? So let's see here what's going on with this situation. Okay, and I'm getting another one. So. I also feel like, you know, someone could have asked you for a ride. Or you maybe regret not giving someone a ride or something. I don't know. That could be for some of you. Someone may have asked you for a ride and, you know. Yeah, look at this. That's what came out. Stabbed in the back. Now, somebody feels heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shock, and attack. So, somebody I feel like is really shocked at how that's why i say i feel like this is a family situation okay this could be a family situation too and it bring is bringing on a towel moment um there could definitely be some type of toxicity here um there's a leo who could possibly be it's taking everything in them to not say something to you about how they feel. Um, or you could feel like that this is you. It could take like take the energy and put it where it belongs. But somebody's upset. And I feel like it has something to do with a ride, a car, or something like that. That's a whole nother story separate. Okay? For some of you. <laughs> It could be about a sibling. And some of this, I feel like, too, could be about... This could be about love. Let's see. What enchanting message do we have for Pisces? It's okay to put yourself first and take care of your own needs before those of others. So, Pisces, you are feeling like, look, it's okay for me to say no. Listen to your intuitive signals. They are real and will guide you in the right direction. Okay. All I'm going to say is this. I get it. You know, we have things that go on in our own lives. Let's get a rebel. Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends on the internet. Listen to a damn professional. So... <laughs> Spirits that get your stuff together, you look like a shit shot. Um, what lyric do we have for Pisces? What lyric? Okay, we have two for Pisces. Can we talk? Can you stay in the rain? So, this is to me going. So we have Tevin Campbell and we have New Edition, baby, old school. So whoever this are, whoever this is, or whoever this are, good lord, this retrograde the twenty first. Can I get here fast enough? I'm so serious. Whoever this is, you want to know you you want to talk. You want to talk to this person now, and you want to know like. Are you going to leave me? So there's some fear of this person possibly leaving you. We have 1444. It was just on the final. There's some fear of this person betraying you. 
there may be a past memory. This is someone that you've known as well from your past. And I feel like you've fallen in love with this person. And you want to now take this leap of faith. But I feel like you feel like this person may reject you. Um, but you want to talk to this person. The only way you want to know is if you reach out. So let's see. What is the advice for the Pisces? Advice for the Pisces. It's time to stop procrastinating. Trust your intuition. Spruce up your nest. It's time for a little spring cleaning. Your home is sacred and your surroundings matter. Honor and recharge and fill it with beauty. Make space by giving away, giving away or donating what you don't need. Your clutter could be someone else's goal. Plus, when we have less to process physically, we have more room to process things emotionally. A clear head and new room for great art awaits. Spruce up your fabulous nest. So clean up your house. I don't know who this is, who's for. But Spirit say you look like a shit show and you need to get yourself, pull your shit together and you need to clean your house. So, I just deliver the messages. I'm just a messenger. Thank you guys so much for like, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. But again, I feel like you are detaching and you're getting ready to take leadership and be okay authentically in who you are. But you need to take action. So, only way you gonna want to know is if this person wants to talk to you and are they going to leave you out in the cold or leave you, you know, just leave you high and dry. You want to take action and talk to them. That's what I have for you. Like, share, subscribe. See you guys in the next feed. Peace.